There are some objects that can be tiled. 2D faces and cubes, for example, also terrains. There are others that are hard to imagine to be tiled. Spheres or tori come to mind. Terrains are a special case. Terrains can be created in the terrain editor in such a way that they can be tiled to make the resulting terrain larger and richer in details. A two-part video exists on the Bryce Mentoring DVD 1, which covers that aspect. A terrain can also be a bit like a 2D face. There is only one unique terrain with many copies that can be tiled. A terrain is generated by a height map and it makes very nice 3D tiles. A 2D face, on the other hand, has to rely on bump to make it appear of having an uneven surface. 2D faces are great to make polished tiles. For tiles on a wall, cubes are the best choice because a ceramic tile is thicker than a piece of paper and there is the mortise. Terrain tiles are equal terrains that are copied and then tiled together. Also this topic was already covered in a video for the Ground Texture Tiles product. When you create a terrain, always leave it at the default size that it comes into Bryce. Scale it off the tiling. If you scale it before tiling, you make yourself life very hard and this video will not be of great help. The default size of a terrain is X and C 81.92 Bryce units and Y 20.48 Bryce units. Go to the terrain editor and load the picture height map you want and in the materials lab apply the texture material. This has already been done here. We have the picture as the height map and we have the material already applied in the materials lab. Now you are ready to tile. Now scale the Y, the height of the terrain, to make it fit the width and depth of the terrain. Just do not alter the X and C values. We assume that the single terrain prepared will be the near left corner of the tiled terrains and we will make the whole thing four terrains wide and four terrains into the distance giving us 16 terrain tiles in all. There is one important detail to know. Even though the default terrain is 81.92 Bryce units wide, X, and 81.92 Bryce units deep, C, the terrain itself is 0 0.16 Bryce units short to the right and at the far end. If terrains are tiled with the size of 81.92 Bryce units in mind, there will be gaps between the terrains that are 0.16 Bryce units wide. In order to tile without visible seams, we have to consider X and C to be 81.92 minus 0.16 equal 81.76 Bryce units only. Now to business. There is only one terrain in the scene. Select it if it is not yet selected. Go to Edit and click on Multi-Replicate. Edit, Multi-Replicate. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt-Shift-D Windows or Option-Shift-D Mac. This also brings up the Multi-Replicate dialog. Alt Shift D. We are on a Windows machine. For quantity, enter one less than the number of tiles. We want four, therefore we enter three. We do the row first, so we add for the X offset 81.76 and click on the check mark. Now we have a row of four terrains that are seamlessly tiled. Select all terrains, Alt Shift D, bring up the multi-replicate dialog. 
quantity is already at 3, but x offset must be reset to 0. Since we are going to tile the row, we have to enter the offset for C, which is also 81.76. Click on the check mark, and we get 12 additional terrains. There are now 4 times 4 equal 16 terrains properly tiled. Now select them all, then group the terrains. The tiled terrains stay together. You can now resize and rotate to group as much as you like. The terrains still are together. 2D phases come vertically oriented with X horizontal 20.48 price units and Y high also at 20. Dot four eight price units. Apply the material on the 2D face and make sure the 2D face is selected. Material is applied, 2D face is selected. Alt or Option plus Shift plus D brings up the multi replicate dialog. Select quantity 3 because we are also going to make a 4 times 4 tile and offset X to 20.48. Click the check mark and we have four terrains. Select all and we have four 2D faces. Select the first one, Alt or Option, Shift D. We still have three, but we do not want to continue on the X. We have to enter 20.48 for Y. And here you are, we have our 16 tiles. Now select all 2D faces. If you would resize them now, each one is resized individually. That's not what we want. That's why we have to group them. And then we can resize and manipulate them as much as we like. There is something you have to be careful when using 2D faces. Work on them as they come into price, as we did. Do not turn the 2D face flat, as I did here. If you must, set the rotation of the attributes to X minus 90 and not to X plus 90. The material on the surface will be mirrored and it will also be upside down. So, even though this is the same image texture, this is placed on top of the 2D faces and this is placed on the bottom of the 2D face. Tiling pyramids. Well, you won't do this on a daily basis, I reckon. Nevertheless, we will cover it briefly. Create a pyramid, the default size is 20.48 by 20.48 by 20.48 price units. Turn it over so that the ground square can be seen. That would be in the attributes dialog X rotation 90. Oh, that's the one. Creating the row with multi replicate is the same as for the 2D face. Alt Shift D, 3, because we want to have 4. And here we have 20.48 price units, and we have the 4. We select all 4, and again 3. We don't need X, we reset it to 0. And now we enter the C offset at minus 20.48. If positive is used, the rows are added downwards instead of upwards. Look at this in this way. This would be nearer to the camera when the pyramid comes into the Marais world. And this would be farther away because the way we have rotated them. 
we want to have the row of pyramids here which would be nearer to the camera and that's why we have to use minus 20.48. Now we select them all and group. Note that the image texture is scaled to fit the surface on which it is applied. Only the ground is square, the sides are triangles and the picture is adjusted accordingly. Tiling cubes. A cube comes into the price world with 20.48 price units in all three directions. To tile them seamlessly, you can do it the same way as discussed for the 2D faces. However, using a cube this way would be a bit of overkill. Rather, you would keep the accent Y width and height sizes, but make the C value much smaller. If we consider 20.48 price units as 20.48 centimeters, or about 4 inches, we would make the tile perhaps 5 millimeter, half a centimeter or a fifth of an inch thick. Then tile them with again about 5 millimeters or a fifth of an inch for the mortise. If you think about those lines, we tile with an offset of 21 instead of 20.48. I have 3 again and we tie with 21 and not 20.48 because we want to have a little space between the tiles for the mortise. We select all the 4 as we've done before. We tile again 3. There is no X anymore but the height will be 21 because we want to stack them up here. So we have 16 tiles. We can now create a 2D face with 4 times 21, that is 84 price units square, and align it to the lower edge of the tiles and give it a sand texture, and we have nice wall tiles. Eighty four by eighty four. I place it to the lower F edge, got to look from above to have it at the back. That's about good enough. And I'll give it a send texture. Send marble send. But we don't want it to have this color, so we just remove the saturation and remove the saturation and we make it a little bit finer and use this also for bump. And we've got very nice wall tiles, though. We don't see how good the mortise is. We have to go in there a little bit and have to use perhaps a bit of different light. Let's see whether I can... Okay, so we see the tiles which have a certain thickness and we have the mortise in between them. Well, it's not very nice, but that's not the point. This example was made just this way. The scene was made four years ago and has potential for improvement, but that's not the issue. It is just here to show how you can tile your bathroom. To wrap it up, a few words about rescaling and repositioning in general. Bryce lets you reposition and scale with the mouse. Reposition with the mouse.
you can enter absolute values 120 50 180 absolute and you can also use percentages I have a look at the resize options here you can scale I want to have it 80 percent this part I want to 90 percent and this part I want 110 percent and the machine is different you have 3D transformations under the rotate options you can here rotate you can put an offset and you can resize you also have it below the reposition where you can also set an offset set a rotation and set a size in percent whatever you are doing sometimes it is good to have the absolute values sometimes it's just sufficient to play around with the reposition or the or the resize tool and sometimes you just need to have it 5% smaller or larger and without using a calculator you can just enter the percent values this is very very helpful the time for the terrain was taken from the product ground texture files those for the 2D phase and the pyramid were made with structure synthesizer and the one for the cubes was an additional leaf I found for IV generator if my memory doesn't fail me there is another means to tile tiling pictures on a single surface this will be covered in another video I hope this tutorial gave you some ideas what you can do with picture textures.